Hi guys, welcome back to the channel here at Bobby's Girl Tarot. Happy Monday. Uh, today is May 16th, so we're going to get a love message here from the good, the bad, and the ugly. Another one here. Hopefully we'll, uh, we've will we got some better energy that comes out, but uh, you know, you just can't guarantee. Sometimes it is ugly, but it's not what we want to hear. It's what we need to hear, so let's get started. Collective, this is for all 12 zodiacs. So uh, only take what resonates from this message and leave the rest. It's not going to be everybody's message. It's not going to fit everybody's story. Do not force the messages to fit and say, this is my story. She said it was my story. Because if it's not doesn't sound like you, then it's not for you, okay? Let's get started. What does the collective need to know? Related to love. Oh, so if somebody says you're everything to them. They, they want to know if you believe them. So the... Maybe there was some trust broken here, but they're saying that they love you. That's sweet, guys. Uh-oh. This could be someone that's an unfit baby mama or baby daddy. Someone that you see is unfit. Trying to convince you that you're everything to them, but they don't take care of their kids. All right. Somebody's feeling lonely. Okay. All right. So somebody's missing you. They're missing their baby mama or baby daddy here. And they're saying you are their everything, which is sweet, but let's see. You are this person's safety net. Okay, so that is why this person is missing you, because you are their safety net. That's why they love you, and that's why they're feeling lonely, because they're missing the financial stability. All right? But they're not taking care of their children. Hopefully... The, the parent that is responsible is taking care of the children here. It says they love to see you smile, just to see you smile. So somebody's loving your smile. Ooh, could have had a somebody could have been involved in a catfishing scheme here, or was catfished by someone that was unfit, baby mama, baby daddy issues. Okay, so we got catfishing over here. You're always on this person's mind. All right. Okay, this is somebody that you possibly could have been in a long-term commitment with. If not, this person wants a long-term commitment. We've got uh, dodge. So somebody could be trying to dodge this person that they're in a long-term commitment with that could be in, uh, in a catfishing scheme. They could do this for a living. They could drive a dodge. Let's see. What else? On repeat. So this is a cycle that's on repeat. Constantly back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Let's see. Dating. So somebody's dating or is on a dating site. Like I said, this could be what they do for a living. They catfish people. But they're unfit baby mama, baby daddy, and you could possibly be in a commitment with this person if you're not married to them, okay? Or engaged to them. Long-term commitments here. They're making positive changes in their life right now, or maybe you are, okay? Maybe you are dating somebody new because you're not dealing with these repeated cycles of this. So your energy is healing to this person, collective. Okay, you got that healing energy, you got that healing sex over there. Somebody faked the death in order to escape, probably due to the fact that they were running a catfishing business, okay? So we got playing on paying people to lie on you, so somebody's paying people to lie on you. I don't know where that gets anybody paying other individuals because eventually you're going to run out of money. And where does the lies get you? One lie leads to another lie, another lie leads to another lie, and another lie leads to another lie. So then you're caught up in a web of lies. When you finally do caught, you got to explain yourself. How are you going to explain yourself? With more lies. So why can't you just tell the truth? Plus you're going to go bankrupt by lying. Okay. All right, somebody slept with him or her just recently. Whether this is you or this is your person here. Somebody they catfished. We hear knock, knock, so it could be a knock, knock. You better knock on wood. You know what they say about knocking on wood? It used to be like an old fable. I always heard it was good luck, but my grandma was like, well, that invokes the devil when you knock on wood, but... Everybody sees it differently. It depends on where you come from, what your opinion is, and if you take that opinion. But I always see it as good luck. Some others see it as you're invoking the devilish spirits. But take it as it resonates. Somebody's saying that they have satisfaction guaranteed. 
They do love you, okay? And they want to put a warranty on it, on their heart here, on your heart. But they're disgusted with their life right now, okay? They're possibly trying to get out of this. The passion for you is too intense. Intense. <laughs> the trenches. I don't know what the trenches is for. Passion for you is, is too intense right now. Somebody could drive a Dodge or a Toyota. Or somebody could be playing with a lot of toys. Uh, you know, satisfying themselves with toys. I, I don't know where that came from, but that's for someone out there working it out with somebody else. If someone wants to work it out with somebody else or somebody is working it out with somebody else. Okay, um, they know exactly what they were doing. They were out for milk and honey. Okay, from those catfishing schemes. False accusations are being made because somebody's being paid to lie on your name or paying other, other individuals to lie on you. Trafficking over here by this catfishing scheme. Somebody could be trafficking individuals. Wow, I, ho I really hope the police watch these videos and the FBI and the CIA, I'm telling you, because this is ridiculous. This is a ring, a trafficking ring, catfishing scheme. Somebody that's got kids. How would you feel if your kids were caught up in this trafficking ring being catfished? If somebody was doing that to your child, you doing it to other people, under, other women or other men or whatever, catfishing and trafficking them. How would you feel if somebody was doing that to your own children? Do you take that into consideration? Or your grandchildren? Or your great-grandchildren? Probably not. Not this, not this person. Baby mama, baby daddy issues. Yes, they're unfit. Whether it's both of them, I don't know. One or the other, okay, is unfit. Breadcrumbs. This person gives you breadcrumbs or has given you breadcrumbs or you may only have breadcrumbs now. Maybe due to getting caught up in the scheme. Somebody's got suicidal ideations. What do we say about that? There's, uh, you know, mental health uh, phone numbers out there, hotlines, uh, suicidal hotline. We have counselors, we have teachers, we have advisors that people could reach out. Call 911 if someone needs help. Is somebody afraid to do that? Why are you afraid to do that? To call 911 on someone for help because they're not right. Copying your hairstyles or wearing colored wigs to match you. So somebody could be trying to copy you or copy your energy. They're tripping right now. They're hiding their emotions because why? collective you are beauty and you are brains someone wants to work it out and put in the effort okay but they also need an exorcism over here they got too many uh demonic energies attached to them setting up people this is a setup all right not the father so somebody's not the father over here whether if you're wondering it says maury povich over here or Jerry Springer, not the father. Okay, so many things remind me of you. So this person's saying that they're being reminded a lot of you and, you know, everything they see that even if they're in the grocery store and you used to buy the same kind of drinks or the same kind of candy bars or whatever, okay, food, whatever. They're recognizing, they're like, oh, I remember whenever so-and-so was with me and we were buying this together, okay? So they're remembering this. Sexy, you're sexy and you know it. And this person over here is spiteful. They're just doing things out of spite. Why? Because they hate you. Why they hate you? Because they couldn't catfish you and traffic your ass. Because you figured them out. Okay. And that's a scandal. Somebody's being forced to take accountability here. They want to know if you're thinking about them. They miss you. They miss the fact that they couldn't catfish you. So many things remind me. This a lot of reminders. You're done with a bunch of monkeys over here. Circus monkeys. Jugglers. Gigolos. Gigolos. Yeah. Male or female gigolos. That's what you're dealing with. Whipped. Either pussy whipped or dickmatized, whatever. Somebody's whipped. Whether you you've got your person whipped or they've got somebody whipped or somebody's got them whipped here. There's somebody's whipping. Or they're whipping something up. Somebody's got a secret life because they faked the death over here due to these trafficking uh, and catfishing schemes. Photos and videos. So somebody's got photos and videos. There's some type of evidence here. Somebody says, just kiss me, baby. They want your kisses because they think you're beautiful over here. Your lips are very tender. I don't know where that came from. Love me tender. Love me dear. 
All right, so the Elvis Presley is over here now. Oh, this is kind of psychotic. All right. It reminds me of that movie about the photographer. Ugh. You got a Debbie Downer, a negative Nancy, or a kissing Karen. Somebody wants you to kiss their ass, but they're negative all the time. They want to keep you down because they feel down. They don't feel good about themselves. You cut this person off. No access, okay? Access denied. Or the universe is denied access. Somebody needs to take the trash out. You're dealing with somebody that is trash. That's how they feel about themselves. That's how they put themselves out in the world. That's the energy that they give off. They're insecure. And they want you to feel insecure. I said, I'm not saying all Debbies are downers. I'm not saying all negative uh, Na Nancy's are negative. And I'm not saying all Karen's kiss ass. But this person wants you to do that. And if you don't do what they want you to do, then they try and get you caught up in their little schemes. They're making plans for your future together. I don't think there's going to be a future with this person, though. Yeah, because you're the lucky charm over here. They're trying to do sex magic, send sex your way, or send people to get you in that, you know, sexual sp spirit. So you will just give yourself away, give your energy out to whoever. They're resenting their choices now, and they're in their emotions. They're overly emotional. So is somebody playing stupid, or are they just stupid? Which is it? This person's got mental issues. They're abusing, or there is abuse here involved in trafficking or catfishing. I keep going back to that. This is the big-ass scheme. This is physical abuse. This is mental abu abuse. This is emotional abuse. This is spiritual abuse. They got a tarot reading on you. And if you don't ask permission, you're not allowed to get tarot readings on spiritual people. Especially, you don't even know what kind of ranking the spiritual person is. So be prepared for the consequences when they come back on you. My ancestors don't play. Because I should probably already be dead by now. As much attacks that, um, you know, my ops has tried to come after me. And I'm still kicking. I'm still alive. And I, I stay 10 toes down. Come back every single day. And I will continue to do that. But you don't know who you got a tarot reading on. You don't know what their spiritual rank is. So you mess them with the right one or you mess them with the wrong one. Which is it? Now, I'm not saying this is my case. I'm just letting you know. My spirit guides don't play. My ancestors don't play. This is the battle of divine feminines because they want your position. They're jealous. Here's that jealous spirit again. Why are they jealous? Because they ha you have something that this person wants that they don't have within themselves. They don't realize that they could have that for themselves. But they'd rather take, 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 take from other individuals, whatever they can get. If they got to pay other people off to lie on you, that's what they'll do. In order to try and get what they want. To take something away from you. Which they don't realize. They can't take anything away from you. That what God has given you. And if God has given you gifts. That only God can take that away. This person has a God complex. They have to deal with God. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Okay. Yeah, using friends to figure you out. They're saying, please let me be the one that they were born to love you. They feel like that you're meant for them, okay? So they want to claim ownership, and love never claims, right? It just allows. They're saying, don't give up on this person or their love, but they're also involved in all kinds of illegal activities over here, guys. They could be going to prison for a long time. They want to know if they can come over. To hell with the consequence. You told me you love me. And that's all I believe. That's all they believe. You told this person that you love them, and they believe that you still love them. Even though maybe you haven't said it to this person since you've, uh, you know, been in separation or you're at a distance from them. They're going through bankruptcy right now. Why? Because they're paying all these people to lie on you so they don't get caught. Because they got to cover their tracks. 
talk, they can talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. This person sits and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. Negative, down on you, talk about your character, belittle you, beguile you, and they're bitch made. Why? They're weak. You're confident, you're strong, you're a warrior collective. And why can't they just walk up to you and tell you? Because they're scared of you. Because you're stronger and they're weaker. They're bitch made. And that's just what it is. So they have to do illegal things in order to get ahead. I tell my ops, if you got balls, male or female, come to my face and say it. Otherwise, move along because you're taking up somebody else's room. I can talk a talk, talk all that bullshit over there, but they can't come to your face and say it because they're too scared. They have their shaking in their boots because they don't know what to do. So they got to do everything behind the scenes that throw rocks and hide their hands. No, it wasn't me. I never did that. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're tired of dealing with th thieves, but they're also a control freak. They have to have control of everything. Except the thing is, is they're mad because you have control of your life and they don't have control of their life. That ain't got nothing to do with us. They're saying that you left them so they don't feel gu guilty. Yeah, they're saying that you left. Maybe you did leave. I don't know. But they don't want to feel guilty, so they're trying to point fingers over here. It's the blame game, right? They're saying that they're healing and they want to send you an announcement. But you're laughing now. Yeah, they don't have control of you. They don't like it that you have control of, their, of your life. And they don't. Then boss up. Take control of your own life and stop trying to control somebody else's life. Haters. Haters. What are they going to do? Hate is going to hate, 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 hate. Fake is going to fake, fake, fake. This is a fake person. They don't show who they are. They can't be true to themselves. So just shake it off. They're bully. Or they're being bullied. And this is a scammer. A scammer alert. And they're getting busted. Or they have. If not, it's going to be happening here in the near future. Red-handed, they're going to be caught up in the act. It says, proceed with caution. This person's stuck in their head. They're in illusions. You're not available or this person's not available right now. They have an idea for this plan or a plan for the, your relationship or, you know, they're over here behind the scenes doing things. We got brown or dark hair. Somebody could have, they're saying, why can't you take responsibility? You're asking this person, why can't you just take responsibility for your actions, for your own self? Okay, they can't. They don't know how. They can't control their own life. But they want to control other people's lives by catfishing and trafficking in order to make money off them. Like people are objects. Uh, they got ho-hos in different area codes. And this, yeah, the past is haunting this person. You are at a distance this, uh, from this person. If not, then you need to distance yourself from this person or these people. All right. Wednesday. So something could be happening Wednesday. Maybe somebody's surrendering. Maybe somebody's about to get exposed or get busted on Wednesday. Manipulation tactics. Charges are being filed. Yeah. So Wednesday, something could definitely happen. They could be you can make an explosion. This is somebody's fight song over here. You already know what's going on, Collective. Someone did the ultimate betrayal. There's no time coming back. No tummy. Something's wrong with somebody's tummy. All right. Or maybe somebody's sick to their stomach or they're about to be. Yeah, they took you for granted. This person or whoever this person was dealing with or you, it doesn't matter. I don't know. They're, they will intentionally hurt you again. They want to take baby steps, and they're trying to rehearse a, a, and make a plan here to come back and get into your good graces. But I don't know. The embezzlement's over here. This convict is, is embezzling money by trafficking individuals and this catfishes. I don't know. And then they want to pay people to lie on you. What, point fingers and say that you're doing this? And you get mad and hate on you because you're exposing their lies? Water sign and an air sign in cahoots together. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a third party situations. They're out screwing around and now they're lovesick. Okay, so that's what somebody could be lovesick. That's why they're sick to their stomach. All right, so envy. They're very envious and jealous. 
the spirit of envy, the spirit of jealousy. Why? Because you have something that this person wants that they don't have. So they feel like that they can take it from you. Like I said, if God has given you a gift, even if it's a spiritual gift, anything, whatever blessings you have that have come to you or that are about to come to you or that you already have, they want it. No matter what extent they have to go to to get it, even if they have to take you out, they will. But they do it behind the scenes. They won't come to your face and do it. Bitch made. Cheating, infidelities, blonde hair, brown or uh, dark hair or blonde hair. So there could be two different people over here involved, you know, working together. So somebody's about to be in an orange jumpsuit. I can't make this up. You don't have to worry about picking out your color because there's only one color. You might be able to pick out your numbers. If you got favorite numbers, maybe you can use your telephone number. I don't know. Try, uh, somebody's got dried up coochie. Oh, well. Ouch. Ugh. Spiritual practitioner. You can be a spiritual pr practitioner. This person could be a spiritual practitioner. Or they could be dealing with a spiritual practitioner that's hired people to pay, uh, paid people to lie on you. That's okay. And if they've done a tarot reading on you, like I said, they don't know your rank. So it's going to be a boomerang effect of whatever they've done to you will come back on them. They're hurt, so they hurt others. Well, then you need to heal that. Why is that hurt there? This person won't go in into themselves to find out why they're hurting, to address that. Psychosis. Psycho. Delusional. Hallucinating. It could be drug-induced. It doesn't have to be, okay? Because I don't think I've seen any drugs come out here, but there's somebody. It's possibility here. Um, we'll never know what love is, just lust. Yeah, that's all they want is lust. That's all I'll ever know is lust. That Jezebel spirit's attached to this person. Jealousy and envy is also attached. They choose to stay stuck because it's comfortable. This person, this is what they do. This is all that they know to do. Their parents could have done this. Their grandparents could have done this. Their whole family and friends could have done this and been in on it. They could have had your friends and family on it because they paid all these people. They could have paid your family and friends to make it think that it was you. I'm just being, now they're mocking you. Why? Because you're telling the truth. And they want forgiveness now. They want an apology or they want to apologize. Well, you can forgive, but it is what it is. We got karmic cycle. We got Scorpio. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio, or they could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is a spiritual lesson. They could also be dealing with a Virgo. This is a lesson. Learn and move on from it. You are safe and protected, collective. They're feeling unsafe. Yeah, because they're being haunted by all those demons that they have attached to them. That envy, that jealousy, that Jezebel spirit. Maybe more. They have to do the, the shadow work, the internal work on themselves they're afraid of looking in the mirror at their own self to see how much of a horrible person that they've projected themselves out to be what their character actually looks like but they want to turn that on you because you're genuine you're a genuine authentic person and they don't like it they want attention they don't want you to have any attention and it's just being honest guys this is just it. Yeah, they're living in denial. And they're avoiding you. Because they can say things behind your back, but they can't come to your face and say it. They don't have the balls, male or female. If they had the balls, they'd bring it on. But they don't. Oh, well. They can face fed time. For their crimes. You do the crime. You do the time. Smokey the bear. Somebody's smoking something. Hired an investigator. So somebody hired an investigator. Want to make you an offer. Maybe this investigator wants to make you an offer. I don't know. Maybe you could have hired an investigator. You made an offer to this investigator. We got an impersonator over here. We got wolf in sheep's clothing. It could be the investigator. It could be a Scorpio or a Virgo. Or they could have that in their chart. It could also be a water sign or an earth sign. Um, 
They regret ever letting you go. What was they thinking? They weren't thinking. They were thinking about themselves. Whatever their family tradition is, okay? Last initial is A through M. Some very freaky person. Somebody dropped the ball. Stole your inheritance, okay? Somebody could actually be into sports. We got Tuesday or Wednesday. Definitely something can go down. That's tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Someone wondering why you're not dead yet. Did not just say this? My ops are wondering, why am I not dead yet? And I still come out 10 toes down. I sleep well every single night. Well, that I'm not working on my other job. But during the day or night, I sleep very well. I don't have nightmares. I have beautiful dreams. That's because I'm highly protected. And my ops are wondering why I ain't dead yet either. Can't kill a chosen one. Not someone that's here to do God's work. And they're collecting minions. Follow the leader. Yeah, it's following the leader over there. Whatever the leader of their uh, ring tells them to do, that's what they do. Now they're feeling hopeless. So let's pull cards from the karmic deck. There's nothing that you can't do together. Somebody needs to read between the lines over there because they're delusional. They're getting harsh judgment for everyone that's involved. Everybody that's involved is a, in this is getting harsh judgment. Or they're about to. Tuesday or Wednesday, possibly. Can you say crazy? I think that might be a little crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but people are, are you stupid? Are you playing stupid or are you actually stupid? Uh, so come somebody comparing their sexual partners over here. They want to do right by you now, but they're living in denial. Okay. This is, God, this is too funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it's just too funny that somebody would go to these links to ruin their life. Their family's life, their friends, circle. Get everybody else involved in it. For what? It just, I don't know. And now they want to sit over there and cry because all their secrets are coming out. It's. <laughs> make it make sense, really. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Playing stupid or is stupid. Which, which is. <laughs> I think maybe this person needs to find a nine to five job. Someone that actually, something that actually can, you know, legally, they can get money to pay their bills without having to go behind the scenes and, and catfish and traffic people. Oh my God. And actually want you dead. Well, honey, if God wanted us dead, we'd already be there. That's up to him. That ain't up to nobody else. And if you decide to take matters in your own hands, then I guess you'll be behind bars or electric chair or whatever for the rest of your life that just ruins you that doesn't do anything to anybody else god wants you here to do something he's going to have you do something and ain't nobody gonna stop it no matter how many people you pay all right we got scorpio and virgo i'm gonna clarify these ones over here I'm sorry. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they're all slave for you. They're addicted to you. Now they want you as their slave. They want you uh, to do what they tell you to do. They want you to be one of their minions. And work for me. Can we can work from home. Oh, oh, that's what they say. We can work from home. So we got the virgin coming out for the Scorpio here. Fear of an intimate union. <clears throat> Someone that doesn't believe in intimacy. They believe in fuck them and leave them. Or fuck them and traffic them. Get them caught up in that catfishing scheme. We'll uh, woo them, why them, dine them, 69 them, and then throw them out in the trash. Okay, we got the king coming out. Uh, excessive feelings of entitlement. Ruler without rest restraint. This is somebody that feels like that got that God complex. They are the king. They are the ringleader of the of the whole operation over here. So uh, their entitlements, they are the boss, male or female, the ruler. And there's no one can tell them what the what to do because they got the whole world in their hands, right? 
They also don't care about emotions at all. They don't put emotions into relationships or connections. Let's say about the Virgo. Now, Virgo could be this also, so only take what resonates. They manipulate their other people's heart and their spirit. They also may go after virgins. That's, I don't know what the, I heard that. Younger, under, younger individuals. I just have to get the messages, guys. Virgo. The Avenger. All right. There's, so here's the guy with the mask, you know, hiding the eyes. Private eyes are watching you. Private eyes are watching you. They see your every move. Yeah, they see your every move. A resorting to violence in the name of a cause. So this person don't care. This is the abuser over here. Physical, mental, uh, emotional, spiritual, whatever they have to do. Verbal abuse, okay? In order to get you entangled in it. This could be the person that's paying people to lie on you. In order to keep their scheme secret. They're catfishing. They're trafficking. Younger individuals, possibly. Whatever. They're out for vengeance. The only thing they're going to meet up is with the universe when God puts his hammer down on this karmic cycle over here. Then they'll be crying when God starts taking things away from them and showing them actually who is the king. Self-sabotage their own happiness. Yeah, uh, the karmic abuses uh, this person and they let them. So and if you let somebody do that to you, then that's on you. Until you decide that enough is enough and you move away. All right, we got sex torsion going on over there. They're abusing their power for sexual benefit or gain. It's sex torsion on other individuals, innocent people. Friends with benefits situations going on. The karma is piling up, so they keep adding more to their plate. And karma can last for, it depends on what you've done, what energy you've put out there. Because it's all about energy. How your character, how you portray yourself to the world. So if this is what you're portraying yourself to the world, and you've been doing this for a long time, especially if it is a family business or you've got a community involved here, it could be years. It could be generations before you're able to clear this off. Your kids will have it. Your grandkids will have it. Your great grandkids will have this curse on them. Dang, they thought they had you in the bag. Okay, sorry is not enough here. So all you can kind of do is forgive this person. Hopefully they find peace. Um, hopefully they heal this, but I don't know. Why try when nothing works for this person? This person's like, they've got that attitude of why should I try to do anything? Why should I actually go out and find a job and be a law-abiding citizen when it doesn't work? You know, they can't keep a job, possibly. So they got to do illegal things, sextortion, pimping people out. They tried to do the right thing. They listened to their family and they got screwed. So this person listened to their family, followed whatever, the family business or whatnot, and they end up screwing up their own happiness. They self-sabotage themselves. They're working behind your back collective. And, you know, this person's for the streets or they're out in the streets now collecting all their minions. Now they're wrecking havoc or trying to wreck havoc. They got a guilty conscience that's eating them alive. Okay, then own up to your shit. If you want to clear that out, if not, the guilt may end up killing you or sending you to prison. It's on you. It's not on us. It's not on the collective. All right. Days lost and confused. Person's days lost and confused. What is this? Shocking news or event. That was what fell on the floor. So it could be happening right now because it fell on the floor. Tower came down. Darkness will befall this person. If they do not take responsibility for their actions, they're going to keep up wrecking karma until the demons take over them. Envy, jealousy, hate, all that. Vanity. It's going to take over them. It's going to make them go completely insane. They slept with your friend to get back at you. So somebody slept with your friend to get back at you. Could have been a friends with benefits situation. Or you could have either or just take it where it resonates. 
acting out all arguing all day and night and uh they don't want you with anyone else so they don't want to see you with anyone else they don't want you to be happy because they're not happy so they're trying to block someone from coming into your life oh well they mess around with the right one they'll see what god has for them or the universe has for them uh or actually the fbi cia the police whatever somebody's gonna about to call the police could be tuesday or wednesday the karmic is trying to get access to everything you have yeah because they want something that you have, but they don't realize that they can't take something that God gives to you. Only God can take that. They can try. They can go down to their death and try, but they ain't going to get it. That's what I said. Are they stupid? Are they playing stupid? Or are they actually stupid? Bros before hoes, they're running out of options. This is listening to their your other minions over there. Talk bad about you because they just want to be a part of your life. Because you don't want to be involved in what all they got going on. So they talk bad about you. And if they don't get anywhere from talking bad about you, then they pay people. They offer, offer people money or whatever they have. Even if it's jewelry, if it's a watch, a purse, whatever, to buy you off. So you'll talk bad about this person because they just mad because you left and they don't want to feel guilty, but they're put, uh, they point fingers and do the blame game. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Forrest Gump. Stupid is a stupid is. Whew. All right. Let's get you uh, some letters out of here. Could you some messages out of here, guys? Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. The links that people go to, it's ridiculous. <laughs> they don't realize they screw themselves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. All right. We've got a spouse. We got the letter C. Crystal. Christian. Somebody could be a Christian doing all this. All right, we got R. Somebody's crying. Or we got a crier over here, a big cry baby. Cry baby. Crying all the time. All the time. Oh, we got some Johnny Depp moves over here. Cry baby. <clears throat> This person is emotionless, though. They don't care about people's emotions. So what makes a difference if they shed a few tears? Because they're fake. They fake cry. All right, so we got P. Too many. Somebody's a prick, and I just got to say that because it's here. And my private, there's that private eye, or somebody could be a PI over here. I got an X. Constant craving. Somebody's got a constant craving. All right. They can't get you. Can't get enough of your love. They're spinning around. Spin me right round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Yeah, it's just like a broken record over here. Okay. Whoa. Broken record. Ivory. What is ivory? Ivory skin. So somebody get a really light skin. Got ivory though. A neighbor, a cousin, a known enemy, a male. Let's see what else we got. A, E, F. Okay. Say, famine, feminine. There's a masculine here that's very feminine. All right. So we got 39, 93, 38, or 83 or 89 could be significant. March, um, August, September. Okay. We've got a known enemy. We've got a male. 
We've got a cousin, we got a spouse, and we have a neighbor, and we have an ex. Any of those people could be involved. They're energies. They don't have to be all those people. So if you know, you know, it was your ex and the your ex was your neighbor and then you were married to that person, that's one person, okay? So just take what resonates. Somebody's pirating or piracy is, uh, is here copying your work or, or, or making copies here, but they're pirating. That's illegal. Virgo, um, I already clarified Virgo. That's double. Somebody could be a double Virgo or you can be, de you could be a Virgo and you can be dealing with another Virgo or somebody that has that placement. Somebody could have a virus here or something's going viral. Somebody could be somebody could have a tendency to watch a lot of movies. Um, it could be also be superhero movies or Marvel. Let's see this guy here. This Avenger. So the Avengers could be significant. Somebody could wear a cape. Or that could just be your thief over there. Thief in the night. Ooh, there's a fire in the night. So there could be a fire at night. Carrie LA. Carrie. Kira. Somebody's got their eye on the prize. Who's the prize or what's the prize? Maisie. Frida. He's very crafty. There's a crack. Somebody's cracking the code over here. Somebody's robbing somebody's bank account or there's a robbery here for the bank or something. Or there's a plan for it. I just have to give the messages, guys. I have, I don't know. Somebody could be at the park. Or could be parting, parking to meet somebody. Maybe you're parting ways. I, I almost said part. But he's very primal right now. Writer. I was born a midnight rider. Yeah. Like two peas in a pod over here. Somebody's stuck in a hive. Somebody could actually have hives. Maybe you got insect bite or something that you're allergic to. Somebody's got a pet peeve. Something with an arch here or a, an arc. Boats and hose. Boats and hose. Everybody likes their boats and hose. What was that movie? That brothers or stepbrothers or whatever. So somebody could have a stepbrother here. Somebody that sees their brother because it was bros before hoes. Somebody could be actually resting in peace. Somebody's name could be River or something's going on down by the river. Just around the river bend. Yeah. Might be having a lot of headaches or a lot of pressure. Raven. Ravens could be significant. That could be somebody's name, or you maybe you've been seeing a lot of raven birds around. 
Somebody could be having hip issues. Maybe like sitting too long or uh, standing too long. Something with somebody's hips or their joints. Somebody's trying to vie for someone else's attention, that attention seeking. Something here with a cup. Somebody put, trying to put something in your cup. I also feel like somebody could wear a sports cap, a ball cap. Elvira, my heart's on fire for Elvira. So somebody's heart's on fire for Elvira. What is this, like the um, somebody that's working on the dark side or something? I don't know. Empire. Something going on with someone's empire. That could be what's crashing down. Where that sudden shocking news is or that traumatic event. Mark. Mike, Michael, Harry, Chip. Somebody's got a lot of minions around there chirping in their ears, or they're hearing voices. Voices carry. Yeah, voices do carry. Someone needs to zip it up or they need to check their zipper. Definitely a rave going on. Somebody's raising cane also. A lot of chaos, a lot of drama. Aquamarine could be significant to somebody out there. Rick, Richard, Ricky. That's weird. Like that old Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. But it's I hear Ricky, not Mickey. Okay, we have P Y C Q R I E F Z V M H K and A. First, middle, last initial. You, your person, or anybody involved here in this situation take as they resonate leave the rest like i said do not force the messages to fit it doesn't sound like your story it's not for you let's get some states here for you iowa tennessee virginia nevada that was oregon i'm gonna pick it up maryland Utah, Rhode Island, Washington, Arkansas, Delaware, Illinois, okay, there's a Sagittarius coming out there, I don't know how that one got stuck in there, so somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius involved in here too, May oh, and yeah. Gemini wanted to pop out to Louisiana. I must have got them mixed up in a pile, but they're meant to come out for a reason. So Louisiana and West Virginia, I will clarify those. Uh, North Carolina, Arizona, New Jersey, Kentucky, Mississippi, and Oklahoma. All right, let me go through these real quick. We have Oregon, it fell on the floor, Iowa, Maryland, Delaware, Oklahoma, Mississippi, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Virginia, Utah. Louisiana, Illinois, Kentucky, North Carolina, West Virginia, New Jersey, Arkansas, Arizona, Washington, and Nevada. Massachusetts on the bottom here. So this could be places that you visited. Okay, this person's visited. You live, they live. Places this person's hiding out. Places they got their catfishing schemes going on here or their trafficking involvement. So uh, whatever, take it as it resonates. Leave the rest, okay? So I'll, I will verify this because that's weird that uh, they were stuck in there, Sagittarius and Gemini, real quick. So if you know you're dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini in this uh, situation, let's see what's going on with these individuals. 
They could just have these in their, in their uh, chart. Sag. All right, trickster. Yep, manipulating others through duplicity. This could be your copycat over here. You know, trying to pull the rabbit out of a hat. Trying to, you know, that backpack, 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 backpack. Dora's got to look in her backpack for the next move. You know, the next tool they get to pull out on someone, okay? So let's see, Gemini. Yeah, beads. So I don't know what the beads are for somebody. I'm just seeing beads. Maybe somebody wears uh, jewelry, Neck a lot of necklaces with beads, or you wear pearls, or diamonds and pearls. Somebody as a prince, okay? Or seen as a prince. Um, Gemini is the detective over here. Voyeurism. Oh, jeez. And falsifying information. This is somebody looking into, uh, looking into what you got going on. Maybe copying it, okay? Or um, they could also be... Uh, what do they call that when they uh, mess with the pictures and they um, change it to something else? Photoshop. So somebody could be photoshopping over here. Your photos. They're observing. But they're falsifying the information that they got. So if they got some information and they feel like they can't use that information, then they go into this trickster mode mix up their uh you know magic in their little hat pull out a rabbit and make it into something that they can use in order to benefit them get what i'm saying take it as it resonates guys oh my god what a mess over here i hope, uh, I hope nobody's dealing with I hope nobody oh somebody can resonate with this that way you know the, you know kind of what's what's going on behind your back here but for Shiza, man. Own your awesomeness and stay humble as fuck. It says, list five things that you love about yourself. Now list five ways you're just like every other human who has ever lived. Go forth, you fabulous little slow snowflake, and be like everyone else with your unique bad self. So yeah, be your own unique bad self. Own your own awesomeness and just stay humble. Uh, you don't have to stoop this low. Sometimes crushing it means asking for help. It says only fools or suckers think they can do it all on their own. Ask for help, then take the help. Let other people be a part of your success. Don't be stingy about letting people share in whatever kickassery you create. Every real baller has a crew. Also, you don't know everything. That's just a fact. So, Mr. or Miss Know-It-All over here, you don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. I mean, nobody on this planet other than the most high above. So, asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It says, grab your own butt, love yourself. Whatever type of butt you have, you're a complete psychopath if you can't see that butts of all kinds are super fucking awesome. Look around at all the butts of the world. Big butts, teeny butts, tiny butts, jiggly butts, orangutan butts, and elephant butts. Grab your butt right now. Aren't you lucky to be the kind of animal that gets to have a butt? Answer, yes, you are lucky, very, very lucky, to be able to grab your own butt. You don't need to grab somebody else's butt. Leave their butts alone. Butts can't lie. No matter what size they are, they can't lie. All right, no is a full, sen is a full sentence. You know what punctuates that sentence? Action. We spend too much time explaining our boundaries that we forget to just have a fucking boundary. Say no and quit participating in what you said no to. Remove yourself from the situation if you have to. Be your own boundary. So no is a full sentence. If someone wants you to do something, you have every right, that's your power, to say yes or no. You don't have to explain yourself. It says your growth uh, scares people who don't want to change. Yeah, your growth does, collective. They don't want to change, they're scared. They can't even come to your face and say something to you. They got to do everything behind your back. They got to pay people and go bankrupt. That's sad. I don't feel bad for them. I feel sad. They stoop that low. Not want to heal and not want to change for themselves. Do something better for them. Are you getting shit from people you think you should be cheering you on? If you thought of them as scared people instead of giant assholes, could you be more compassionate with them? 
or at least let their current ass assholishness side for now? Hmm, compassion. Tastes nice and minty fresh, doesn't it? Compassion. Go have compassion. Be humble. Be yourself, even if you're crazy. Stop worrying about normal ass, nothing ass people judging your cool weird ass. There'll be nothing of that today. Anytime you feel yourself worrying about any of those asses, remember who you got to wake up to every morning. You, baby, you. Your job is to make sure that you're good on your own terms. Check in with what you really care about and make sure that you're living up to that. Not what all those asses out there might be thinking. So who cares what anybody thinks? Be your own crazy, weird ass self. Normal. Okay, what's normal anymore? Be your normal. All right, uh, be the person you needed when you were a kid. Did you need someone who protected you? Did you need unconditional love? Did you need more attention? Did you need praise? Did you need to know someone had your back? You're a big kid now. You can do that all that, all that little pipsqueak still living inside you. It says, you're a big kid now, and you can do that for that little pipsqueak still living inside your ribcage. So... Feed that little pipsqueak. That's what it's saying. Be the kid, be the person that you needed when you were a kid to somebody else. If you wouldn't say it to a friend, you shouldn't say it to yourself. Check your thoughts with this simple test. When you catch yourself being a jerk, which we all have, okay, respond the way you would be if someone was saying that shit to your BFF. A simple bitch please usually does the trick. Today, as say as many bitch pleases to yourself as you need to shut your jerk down. So shut your own self down and just say bitch please, even if you got to say it about yourself. All right. Would you say that to your best friend? What you want? You know, that do unto others as you want done unto you. Holding on to resentments is like taking a shit on your own heart. Yeah, it's that gross and pointless. Let that shit go. Look up a loving kindness meditation on the internet and do it. Focusing on love is like taking a baby wipe to your heart. Okay. So uh, focus on love because you don't want to take a baby wipe to your heart. Let go of resentments. You know, it's not your fault. It's not anybody's fault. Know the difference between shame and guilt. Guilt equals I did something bad. Shame equals I am something bad. Spend the day identifying guilt and shame. If guilt comes up, find a way to make amends. Shame is the devil, though. Kick it in the dick. So kick it in the dick, guys. We don't need shame and guilt. We're not here to be shamed. We're not here to feel ashamed of ourselves. We're not here to take our guilt or anyone else's guilt. Let go of it. Let go of resentments. Just let it go. It doesn't do any good. It just cause you more pain and suffering. Choose the love. All right, guys, those are the messages I have for you. Hopefully they resonated and someone got some clarity here in this situation. If you did, please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. I do appreciate all your love and support for my channel. I thank you guys so much and hope you have a wonderful Monday. Take care.